Alright, hey guys, what's going on? This is Chris here, of course, from Mikey Allstar here, and today we have another minifigure showcase. Oh yeah! As you can see, we have four minifigures to showcase this time. Alright, so today we have these Mandalorians from the new Mandalorian Battle Pack, probably one of the coolest battle packs that's come out in recent years. So let's go ahead and do this, shall we? Alright, and here we have Green Bean, I guess. We have to give these names since they don't actually have any names. Alright, here we go. So first off, all of these minifigures, of course they are Mandalorians, they have the Mandalorian helmet, each one is different, different color, and they have the same basic design for the torso and legs, but different colors of course. And they also have this really cool cape, which is actually skinnier than a normal cape, it doesn't go out as much, which I thought was really cool. So yeah, very cool cape design, I don't know how often they've used this before, this might be the first time, which I kind of doubt it, I'm sure they've probably used it in the past, but it's a pretty recent piece and it's very cool. So first off, as you can see, the legs are a nice shade of uh, navy, and you've got this uh, little like waist cape thingy going on there. It's in tan with some dark tan and brown colorings right there to give it some more detail. Very nice. You've got the top right here. You've got the belt in brown as well as the silver buckle and like this little piece right there. Pretty cool. Continuing on to the torso, of course, the buckle and uh, the belt is on the torso with some pockets as well too. Uh, the torso itself is a dark shade of green and it really nicely uh, matches with uh, the spider green too, really complements each other, not really match, but complements. It's kind of a mint green a little bit as you can see uh, in the shadows, but out of the shadows it's more of a like, uh, like a vibrant green, like nice just uh, army man green I guess if you will. And it has uh, some blue right there underneath, kind of like uh, they have this blue uh, outfit underneath and they have their armor on above it, so that's pretty cool. Then we'll look at the back real quick. I think there might be some back detailing, it's not really too important since it's usually covered by the cape, but there is. A continuation of the armor as well as a belt back there, so that's a nice level of added detail right there that's usually just covered by the cape. But if you want to take the cape off, it'll still be there, so that's cool. Alright, then this Mandalorian has dark blue arms, or navy, the same color as their legs and their like uh, undershirt I guess, and you also have these brown gloves. Alright, and here is the head and helmets. Now the helmet doesn't have anything else underneath it, it just has a black head. You can see right here. So that's uh, that's fine, you know, you usually wouldn't take off their helmets anyways, so there you go. Also has this viewfinder right here, this uh, set does come with that bag, if you remember from back in the days with Clone Wars, with the clones, they have the bag with the uh, range finder and then like the uh, shade thing or whatever, like the visor. And that is in there as well, so you can always put these, uh, put those pieces on all of the Mandalorians and, you know, just have some fun with it. So here's the helmet itself. The helmet's one of my favorite part of these minifigures right here. They're very unique. As here, it's got a more thin design instead of like this one where it's like thicker. Oh, not that one. That's a bad example. Sorry. Like, <laughs> like this one where it's more thicker. It's got like a little more curvature to it, which is really cool. It's got silver right there. You also have blue on the sides and then more silver. And then the rest of it is the nice shade of green, the same color as, the, uh, as this torso piece right there. So there you go, that is the first Mandalorian, Green Bean. Let's move on to the next one. Alright, and here we have Concrete. So, alright, do a little comparison here. There are some differences between these. Um, at this one, at least, it has a little less armor right there. You can see that little piece right there. It doesn't have it right there. So I thought that was interesting. And of course, the color palette is different. You know, you've got this nice shade of white woo, and now over here you've got the dark woo. You've got a belt with only one pouch right there instead of two, if that was interesting. You also have just uh, like that, like I said, there's not that right there. The armor chest piece looks a little different, and of course there's a different color. You also have a nice little uh, orange dot there to give it a little extra color. The torso itself is in tan, a nice, really, really cool shade of tan. About the same color as that, but this is actually like officially tan instead of printed tan, if you know what I'm saying. And you also have the arms are the same color as the legs, just like this one right there pretty awesome and oh I forgot to mention the details right there are in brown and black they really work well I must say it just blends nicely and all right you can also see some detailing right there as well on the torso which I thought was cool and then the cape is black instead of brown it's also uh, one of the older style capes instead of the new like cloth capes it's a more uh, canvasy cape they went back to that now I guess I'm not sure why but <laughs> um, yeah they keep on switching the capes up a little bit so here is the back, of course you've got the back piece of the armor as well as the belt of another uh, pouch right there and then the continuation of the undershirt. And then, of course you have the black hands and the helmet itself. The helmet is a similar design of the green one with different colors of course, you've got that same sort of skinnier design with orange and you also have some dark orange right there to really make it stand out. That looks so cool, it makes it look like it has battle damage and speaking of battle damage, you've got little 
uh, scuffs right there with dark brown, or sorry, not dark brown, dark gray. You also see some more dark gray, uh, dark gray, dark gray up here, as well as some black on the side. Just such an awesome uh, helmet. You also have, of course, the viewfinder right there, or the antenna, whatever you want to call it. And there we go. Let's move on to the next one. And here we have Woo Boy. Now you'll notice that the torsos are pretty similar to from these two. See, it's got the same sort of design right there with the uh, armor plating right there, and then you also have just the uh, undershirt right there, which, although it is, of course, like I said before, different colors, and actually the uh, legs are different too. Like this one has the waist cape, this one doesn't. So that's pretty interesting. Which is a little comparison right there, move this out to the side. So we're going to go over this one briefly with the colors. You've got this nice shade of blue, really awesome blue. It's not this white blue, but it's more of like a, uh, I don't know how to describe it, just like a sky blue, I guess, kind of like a really vibrant sky blue. And you have these uh, this little uh, knee protections right there, and uh, knee pads, I guess. And you also have some silver right there to give it some added detail. And then you have this belt here, which is actually a different color. It's a lighter brown instead of a dark brown. It's got two pouches in the buckle. You've got this shirt right here, you've got the undershirt, which is an interesting shade of kind of a bluish gray, blue gray. And then you also have, of course, like I said before, the chest plate in blue. Very nice. And of course, the uh, cape is a kind of uh, sand green color instead of the uh, black or brown. You've got sand green. And then the back, of course, is the same, pretty much the same, just with uh, blue right there, as you can see. Of course, you've got the uh, Continuation of the belts, and then the helmet. The helmet, I say, is probably the coolest part about this minifigure, besides like the rest of it. The rest of it's really cool too, but um, we've got this like super cool design. You've got the silver right there, and you also have a nice uh, dab of purple right there. You can see there's some right there, there, and then on the top too. I think it looks really nice. And there you go. It also looks like it has some battle damage too, which I really like. Nice attention to detail. Alright, and here's the last one. It is pretty similar to this other blue one. I'm going to call this guy Magma. And here we have, as you can see here, although his legs do not have uh, printing on them, the rest of them is basically the same exact uh, kind of torso, except of course different coloring. So you've got here, you've got uh, you've got this nice orange right there, it's really nice uh, pumpkin-y orange, as well as a belt, which is actually a little more orange, I think, than that one. It might be the same color, it's kind of hard to tell, but they're pretty close. I guess really this is more of a brown than an orange, but it, it's kind of hard to tell, really. It's kind of like an orange, orangey-brown, I guess. That's what I'll call it, orangey-brown. And you've got some more detailing right there. You've got, of course, the gray torso, and you've got the brown right there. This reminds me of Fall, I guess, really. It's uh, the Fall Mandalorian, I guess. And you also have the uh, dark brown arms and the black hands, dark brown, the same color as his legs. Or her, I don't know. And then we also have this uh, back cape right here, which is the same color, roughly, as his arms, or her arms. And then, on the back, see here, you've got the continuation of the armor, as well as the belt, and the two pouches right there. So pretty awesome. I really like how they varied these. You know, you can tell there are definitely some similarities between them, but they're also each unique. And of course they have their own colors and stuff, so I thought that was really cool. And the helmet especially, the helmet's really what sets them apart from, uh, besides the color, is just how different they are. So of course you've got the same sort of design as this one where it's not uh, as thin and skinny or curved. With this one you have just the kind of normal T right there, you also have some black on the sides, and then some silver right there, some really uh, battle damage silver, this one's probably like one of the most battle damage ones, it's really cool. You've got uh, dark silver and white silver to really give it like sort of a uh, just battle damage look, yeah. You've got this kind of like M sort of on the top there, but not quite, more, more like horns I guess really, so there we go. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, it was a lot of fun making this, and these minifigures are very cool, so I'll see you guys next time, Bye bye